Season 4 of 90 Day The Single Life has commenced, and viewers are already sick of Natalie Mordovseva's shenanigans. This season, we're watching as Natalie, along with former 90 Day fiancé cast members Veronica Rodriguez, Chantelle Everett, Debbie Aguero, Tim Malcolm, John McManus, and Tyre Mollett, look for long-lasting love. Natalie's romance with her now ex-boyfriend, Josh Weinstein, is currently playing out this season as the two try to rekindle their romantic connection. Natalie packed up her life in Florida to move to Los Angeles, where she was hopeful that Josh would help her get on her feet, including providing her with housing and finding her a job. At first, it looked as though Natalie and Josh were getting along great, but it didn't take long for Natalie to lose her cool and flip out on Josh. While enjoying some drinks after a night of roller skating, Natalie asked Josh to pencil his schedule into her calendar. When she realized that he would only be with her for two days before he had to be on the road again for work, she went haywire, demanding that he spend more time with her. Natalie then complained about not having a place to live or a job, and what started as an enjoyable evening soon turned into a disaster. During a solo interview with TLC's producers, Josh revealed, I think Natalie has expectations of just having me full time and, you know, I have obligations. I have to work. I have kids and I'm giving her every free moment that I have," he added, hinting that Natalie didn't appreciate the effort he was putting into their relationship. Following the episode, Single Life viewers commiserated with Josh and called out Natalie for depending on Josh to get her life up and running in California. On Twitter, at George Mosey rhetorically asked, why did Natalie move to LA with no money or place to live and expect Josh to worry about all those things for her? Another fan commented, Natalie is just too much. She wants Josh to fund her life but doesn't want him to work. They added, Honey, just move near a country club and try to find some old rich guy to con. One of Natalie's critics didn't mince words when they suggested that the Ukrainian native not rely on Josh to support her but instead get an effing job. Natalie and Josh's relationship was certainly a roller coaster of emotions. Their up and down love story had 90 Day Fiancé fans curious about the status of their relationship for months. The last time we had any proof the two were still cordial was in March 2023, when the duo shared matching videos to their Instagram stories. In the short clip, the couple sat inside a car at night at an undisclosed location. Josh flashed a peace sign to the camera as he recorded himself and panned to his side to reveal Natalie, who blew a kiss to their followers. Shortly after, Natalie scrubbed all evidence of her and Josh's relationship from her Instagram feed, seemingly proving they had called it quits. Do you think Natalie made the right decision moving to LA? What do you think happens next for her? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the 90 Day Fiancé franchise and even more reality TV news.